I was on a panel with a, um, a, a, a forensics threat hunter, and we were talking about what we, they, they do forensics and access. And um, so at the end of this discussion, but they did it in a very specialized way for a very specialized company. And at the end of the panel, I had said something about, you know, Sweet said about, you know, what do you need from the agency to get started in cyber? And I said, yes, everybody talks about how everything changes. You know, it's like, like all the technology changes every day. It doesn't, folks. You know, I mean, like, there are definitely shifts and changes. And I use the example of TCP IP, right? So we know it's okay to touch it four and six, but TCP IP is TCP IP. We've known it for years. And at the end of this panel, this person came up to me and said, you just blew my mind with what TCP IP is. I didn't know. They had a computer engineering degree and were working for a very large, well-known company doing forensics and threat hunting and didn't know what TCP IP was. So I hear things like that. That, a CISO maybe not being as technical, I'm like, yeah, you know, I mean, like, depending on what their role is, but, and who works for them. But somebody who's doing threat hunting, not understanding how TCP IP works, that, I'm like, yeah. 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 So that brings us, th that takes us. Oh, wait, Robert's on, Rob. You're Rob, on. you're on mute, dude. You gotta take, you gotta okay. hit the mute button. We unmute him? Oh, there he goes. <laughs> oh, and, and, oh, no, wrong button. That's the video <laughs> button. I, 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 I'm just, I'm doing, I'm clicking the buttons. To be clear, I wasn't talking about the CSOs. I was definitely talking about panelists and people in the trenches. And I, I'm just wildly ashamed at where this industry is going. And, you know, I, I think the answer is automation because humans clearly are not cutting it. The, the people I'm seeing are not of the same caliber and not that we had enough of them anyway but if the caliber is going down then we're just going to have to automate them out of a job because is that, a, not... is that a output of the tools like and automation like i feel yeah. a lot of people you don't need to know so much because the tool tells me everything i need to do right but they... the problem is they don't even know which tool does what they don't even know what the output means of the tool to analyze whether the tool is the right tool or not or whether it's even functioning I think, no widget, I think the automation widget. comes into create a numerous multiplier, there, which allows you to have the luxury of trying to re recruit and or retain high quality people because they're hard to find. Uh, the experienced people are hard. To, so the automation, in my mind, is a stopgap that allows you to kind of, in, in essence, remove those tier ones and maybe even some of the tier twos if you have the right data sets and the right the right workflows. Well, the back. but so so Ron, Will, you're you're both saying something interesting and in in from different directions, I think in some ways, I find more than not, people are trying to augment